All right, before we start today's video, I just wanna give a big, big thank you to everybody that works at the Ford Performance Racing School in Utah. Mike McGovern, who the interview is with today, I'm gonna to put his social media, his Instagram account right here. Do me a huge favor and follow him if you wanna see more content of what he does. He's all things motorsports, this guy is awesome. The entire school is amazing. If you own a Raptor, Ranger Raptor, a F-150 Raptor, and you're the first owner, you get the opportunity to go to this Ford Performance Racing School, and I cannot recommend it enough. I hope you guys like today's video, and there's more to come. Uh, my name is Mike McGovern. I've been in the motorsports world for, gosh, man, 35 plus years. Uh, my career started off working for the Bob Bondurant School of High Performance Driving. And during that period of time, I got to race professionally in an SCCA and IMSA. I raced with the Jim Click Racing Team and just had a great time. Uh, but I've really enjoyed coaching people and, and teaching them about high performance driving. So when one door closes, another one opens up. And a couple years ago, the Ford Performance Racing School uh, invited me to come work for them here. And I was like, yeah, it sounds great. Um, this is a great, great organization. And uh, so once again, continuing to coach people on not only how to drive, but also how to manage uh, and explore their new vehicle that they get the opportunity to drive or they've purchased. You know, people buy a brand new Ranger Raptor and there's so many features, right? so many features for on-road and off-road that um, it's, it's probably tough to put it together on the front side when they first get it. But once they come here, we lay it all out and we share this truck, this awesome truck with them. And uh, when they leave here, they really have a really good idea of what it's capable of. But going back to, again, my little intro, uh, I really enjoy teaching people about performance driving and no matter what capacity that might be in on the asphalt, uh, on the dirt, it's just really rewarding for me to share something with somebody and they're like, oh, wow, that was, that was awesome. I really, I get it, I understand it. And you see them progress, you know, as they, as they go through the program. So that's, for me, that's big. What is my favorite capability of the Ranger Raptor? Um, gosh, there's so many, you know. One, I really like the fact that all the drive modes can be switched when the truck is in motion. You know, except for rock crawl, we need to do that neutral stop and, and then change that. Um, I, I really like that setup. Um, I also like the um, fact that you can switch it from two wheel drive to four wheel drive, push of a button. Um, the truck is so friendly in so many ways and it prompts you like when you go to make a change, if you might not have done something correct, it tells you, hey, you need to do this. And so it really guides you through possibly, you know, if you're making that, that change from, from Baja to rock crawl or back. Um, I also like the fact that you really feel the differences in the changes that you make. The truck is so, so adjustable. You know, when you go from normal to off-road to Baja, you can feel those changes that the truck makes. And uh, yeah, it's such a capable, fun, fun vehicle to drive. So capable. What's the best setup for on-road performance? Well, there's only one setup that's sport, right? Sport mode is the setup for on-road. You know, once again, you know, the truck is modified its setup. It'll hold the gear a little bit longer before it upshifts and it auto rev matches on the downshift. So it becomes this little sport truck. And so that's the best setup for on-road. What mode do I enjoy the most has got to be Baja. That is the, that is the best mode for off-road driving, 
sport driving in the dirt. It's so much fun. And, and it's very much like the sport mode. Holds the gear a little bit longer, auto rev matches on the downshift, stability and traction control, loosen up so you get a little bit of slide out of the truck. So that's the mode I like the best off-road. Do you have a preference on 4i or 2i? Um, I like them both, you know. You, you know, when you have it in four, in four-wheel drive, you can really feel, you can really feel that front end work for you driving off the turn. I think the the, th the most important thing there that you got to be careful about is not being too greedy uh, when you go to exit the quarter. You got to just give it a little bit of throttle, make sure the front end of the truck is pointed, and then that that throttle progression can be pretty rapid. But it's just waiting for the truck to point. I really like that too. Oh gosh, if I could change one thing, horsepower, more. Never enough <laughs> right? horsepower. We always can want more <laughs> horsepower, but you know, I really appreciate the power that's built into that truck. It's so linear, it, it works out really well, but we could always want more, right? Well, for someone that doesn't really plan to maybe go off-roading, doesn't really know a lot about that. I think coming to the Ford Performance Racing School here in Utah, Tooele, Utah, is, is one, it's gonna teach you about the different drive modes that the truck has to offer. We're gonna educate you on how to navigate over rocks and through trails. And then your mindset will probably change after that because you're gonna, you're gonna feel more comfortable with with the truck and then your own capabilities so that coming here could completely change that it did for me yeah for sure where does the ranger raptor fit in the raptor family it's right up there right alongside f-150 and r you know they're also capable in so many different areas um i think it just it's right there right side by side with uh, f-150 and r you know so i can't give you really any significant thing that makes it better than the other ones they're all so special in, in, within themselves Three things that I like about the Ranger Raptor. I do like the power, you know, it's just again, it's, it's, it's spicy, man. It's spicy, it's linear. I like the, the um, Baja mode, it's playing in the dirt, right? But I also like the on-road technology that the truck has to offer. You know, the uh, adaptive cruise control and lane centering uh, speed sign recognition. I'm a fan of all of those features. So those are the three things, you know, that I like. Well, I think uh, one of the first things that you may want to consider when you're thinking about going off-road is, you know, check your truck out, right? Make sure its wheels are torqued and the air pressure is set and and you know where you're going, right? Have a really good idea of that path that you want to take. And if you get to a scenario that you're not quite sure of, well, then, you know, sometimes getting out of the truck and checking it out, walking the path, making sure you know what's going on further ahead um, before you go. And then I think the other thing, team up with someone that's been there before, you know, find yourself a kind of like you might want to say a guide or a coach that will that will lead you um and then yeah what's my favorite thing about the ford ranger raptor class uh is sharing the knowledge that i have with the folks that come here to this program giving them that experience that information 
that's my favorite thing about the whole thing. And of course, playing in the dirt. Yeah. Well, what is the most asked question that you experience? What's the most asked question? Um, you know, I think the most asked question, it's kind of funny, is when we do our side hill exercise, people ask, well, how far can you really go, right? How right. much I angle can you get? And there is nothing in writing. Uh, the idea of that exercise is to share the left foot braking uh, with the customer. The, uh, in the other, the other um, Raptor program that we have, it's trail one pedal drive. So that's the whole idea. And then how stable the vehicle is uh, so sharing the technology, but that's probably the most big, that's the biggest question there. How, how much angle can we get? And there is nothing in writing. I don't know. Don't want to find out. <laughs> don't want to find out. And, and we wouldn't be able to do that in the dirt. Yeah. So uh, that's probably the most. But, and then the next is, what's the tire pressure? What kind of tire yeah. pressure do Those we... my questions. Right. What kind of tire pressures do we set up in our trucks? And we set up... Because think about it, we go asphalt, dirt, back to asphalt, back. So we, we find a, a happy medium, and that's 32 front, 28 back. But that's truck unloaded, right? That's nobody, nothing in, no equipment in there. So cold, cold truck. So look at the, the sticker on the door, and that will tell you your, your starting point. But that's what we use. Anything else, Mike? Anything else you want to say? I would say that if you own a new raptor pickup you need to check out the school come to the school gain knowledge experience what your truck is capable of and at the same time just have a blast doing it awesome well i i hope you guys really enjoyed that interview the whole program and the co course is unbelievable i can't recommend it enough if you have the truck and you're the first owner this is the only time you're going to be able to do it, so I highly recommend it. And for folks staying at the end, I really appreciate you guys watching. As you can see here, I'm not in Colorado anymore. Finally moved to Texas, and as you can see, I'm standing in the third garage spot, and it's empty. So stay tuned. A lot of updates coming to the channel, hopefully posting some more videos more regularly. But I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.